I'm going to share a simple yet effective SEO checklist that you can use to audit any page. I'll also show you how you can use SEO Minion as your own special SEO checklist sidekick that you can use on any page inside your browser. So let's get started. Okay, so this is my simple yet very effective SEO checklist. Now you can follow this checklist to audit any web page to help it rank higher in search engines. This is comprised of mainly on-page SEO, but also some technical SEO elements as well. These are the main things I would check when auditing a page, and you don't necessarily need to start from top to bottom. You can start wherever as long as you complete every task in this checklist. Now you can check your web page against this checklist manually or you can use a tool like SEO Minion. Now this is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome and for Firefox. It can check against many SEO elements for any page you're on. So it'll be kind of like your sidekick that you can use whenever you need it. So in this video, I wanna show you how you can use SEO Minion in conjunction with the SEO checklist to audit any page. Okay, so let's just say we want to rank higher for this keyword, best indoor plants. And right now we are ranking uh, lower on the first page of Google. And let's just say this is our page. We want to audit with this SEO checklist. So we can start at the top. So we first need to identify target keywords. Your page should focus on one primary keyword. And I like to look at the page header for that. So this is our page header, so best indoor plants. 10 top plants to grow at home. And it's pretty obvious here that my main keyword is best indoor plants. It's also mentioned in this subheading right here. So we identified our target keyword. So I'm gonna put an X under the done column. Next, we need to optimize our title tag. So let's see if our title tag is optimized. So I'm gonna go back to Google and this is our title tag. So best indoor plants, 10 top plants to grow at home. It is targeting our main keyword, which is great, but I wanna check the length. So what I'm gonna do is use SEO Minion. So I'm gonna click on SEO Minion and click on Analyze on Page SEO. So we can use this to audit the page. So this is the page title. So best indoor plants, 10 top plants to grow at home. And it's only 50 characters, which is a great length. It's targeting our main keyword. So great, so I'm gonna put X there. Next up in the SEO checklist is to write your headline in an H1 tag. Now this is our main headline here, but I wanna make sure we added an H1 tag around it. So I can manually check the source of the page, but I'm just gonna use SEO Minion. So SEO Minion pulled all of the headings and displayed it in this table right here. So here we go. So best indoor plants, 10 top plants to grow at home, and that is an H1. You can also click on this light bulb icon to highlight it so you know exactly where it is. So that's good. Next up is to write a meta description that boosts clicks. And I'm gonna check what SEO Minion pulled. So this is the meta description and it says, these are the best indoor plants to bring the interior of your home alive. Now it does target my main keyword, but it's only 74 characters and we can write up to 150 characters. So I think we can add another sentence to this meta description, maybe add a call to action. So our meta description definitely needs work. Next is check the URL slug for SEO friendliness. So you can look at the SEO slug right here here. You can also see the URL here as well. And it does have our main keyword, best indoor plants. And it's pretty short and concise, so that is good. Next, add target keywords to your body content. Now this is very important. So we already know that best indoor plants is added to the subheading. Let's see if it's added anywhere else. Okay, best indoor plants. So we do have it over here. And we also mentioned it over here and here as well. So we did add our target keywords to the body content. Next, we need to review our content quality and readability. So when it comes to this, I always want to make sure that all of my paragraphs are nice and short. But on this page, the paragraphs are nice and short, only a couple of sentences long. I see some of the headings are designed differently. There's tons of images as well. There's the sticky navigation up on top. And every time I scroll, I'm looking at photos and short pieces of text. So it's very readable. And just at a glance, you know that the quality is there and it doesn't look too much like a shady page or anything like that. So the quality is there. So I'm gonna put an X there. Next, we need to mark up subheadings with header tags. So I'm gonna use SEO Minion and go back to our headings table here. And these are all of our H2s. And I'm gonna click on the light bulb icons to jump to them. So best indoor plants is an H2, perfect. We can also click on show all headings to take a look at the other headings as well. And I do see an H1 for a string of hearts and the other types of plants, which makes sense here. So each plant is wrapped in an H3. And let's see where that is. Perfect, it's right here. 
Okay, so we did mark up subheadings with our header tags. Next up, we need to add relevant internal links. Now you can click here to highlight all links on the page. You can also check broken links. So I'm gonna click on check broken links because it also gives you additional information as well. Okay, so not only did it highlight all the links on the page, it organized the links in this table. So there are 70 valid links and there are no 404 broken links, which is great, but there is one empty link that it found. Now all of the valid links are highlighted in green. So we can see this here, air cleaning indoor plants, bathroom plants, bedroom plant, kitchen plants, and there's a couple more as well. So I think all of these make sense and are relevant. Next, we need to check to see if the page has engaging visual content like images and video. And obviously there are tons of images as you scroll up and down the page. So I personally think this page is pretty engaging. Next, we need to apply schema markup. So with this, I like to look at the source code. So you can right click on the page and click on view source. So this is the source. So I'm gonna do a control find and type in schema. And this is the schema markup, okay? So the page has an article schema, organization, image. So it does have schema markup, so that is done. And we also need to check to see if there is any open graph tags. Now you can look at the source code as well. And I see there are open graph tags in the source code. You can also use SEO minion. So I'm gonna go back, click on analyze on page SEO, scroll down to the open graph table right here. And yes, there are open graph tags. So what you should do is make sure all of this information is correct, like the URL, the title, especially the image and the description, because whenever someone shares this page on social media, this is the information that will appear on that social media post. Next, we need to check to see if the page has a canonical tag. So let me scroll up in SEO Minion and look at the canonical URL. Now, most of the times, the canonical URL will be the same as the URL of the page, and it does look the same, and it makes sense to have the canonical tag the same as this main URL, so that is done. And we also need to add meta robots. You can view the meta robots right here. So there is a max image preview tag. And if you go back, you can view the status code and that's a 200 and it is indexable and followable. Okay, so that is good. And lastly, we need to check to see if there are hreflang tags implemented if needed. Now, if your website caters to different people in different countries who speak different languages, you definitely need hreflang tags because that will tell the search engines what the correct page to rank for that country and language to show within the search engines. Now you can check that in SEO Minion with their hreflang checker. So if you click on that, this is the URL of the page. And it says this page has not implemented any hreflang tags. And that's because this website is primarily for people in the United States speaking English. So this one isn't relevant for our website, so that's okay. And so we are done with this SEO checklist. So we do need to rewrite our meta description, but everything else seems to be implemented, so we are good. Now, SEO Minion also has other features as well. So you can also compare the HTML code versus the DOM of the page. SEO Minion also has some SERP features as well. So as you can see, this is a pretty robust tool that you can use to audit any page. This is your SEO checklist companion. So you can use this by itself, or if you have a SEO checklist like me, you can use SEO Minion in conjunction with your own SEO checklist. So that does it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.